we're told that each square below represents one whole. So this big square right over here is a whole, and then this big square over here is another whole. Then they ask us, which of the following does the shaded area represent? Select all that apply. So let's see, the shaded area, we're shaded in blue. So let's see, one way to think about it is we have one whole over here, and then over here we've divided it into tenths. There's one, two, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal sections, and we've shaded in one of them. So we've shaded in one tenth. So this would be one whole and one tenth. So we could say that this is one and one tenth. So that's one way to think about it. But what about these other ones? Well, even this one has been divided into tenths, and you could view one whole as 10 tenths. You see that here, where we've divided it to 10 equal sections, 10 tenths, and we've shaded all 10 tenths in. So this whole you could view as 10 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we have an 11th 10. An 11th tenth, I should say. So we have, if you, if you count these blue rectangles, we have 11 tenths. So you could also write this as 11 tenths. Now 11 hundredths? No, I don't think. We haven't even divided this into hundredths. And 11 hundredths would be a little more than 1 tenth. And so this is definitely way more than that. So I can check my answer. And actually, you don't see it, but it's happening off screen. But this is what I would go with for that. Let's do, let's do a couple more of these. So it says, which of the following describes the location of the point on the number line? Let's see, I have one, and then between one and two, I've divided it into 10 equal spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each of these tick marks or hash marks is going to be a tenth. So this is one and zero tenths, one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths, one and five tenths, one and six tenths, one and seven tenths. 1 and 8 tenths. So 1 and 8 tenths is the same thing as 1.8. 1 and 8 tenths. So it's that. But what about these other options? Well, one way we could think about this is let's just count the tenths. Each of these hash marks is a tenth. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It makes sense. A whole is 10 tenths. But let's keep going. We were at 10 tenths, 11 tenths, 12 tenths. 13 tenths, 14 tenths, 15 tenths, 16 tenths, 17 tenths, 18 tenths. So this one also applies. 18 hundredths, this would be between 10 hundredths and 20 hundredths, which would be the same thing as between 1 tenth and 2 tenths. So 18 hundredths is going to be someplace, someplace around here. So I definitely will not select that one. Let's try, let's try a few more of these. So they say, write a decimal that is equal, equal to 24 tenths. All right, 24 tenths. So remember, we could view this as, I'll just write it down. We could view this as 20 tenths, 20 tenths, plus 4 tenths, plus 4 tenths. But what is 20 tenths? What is 20 tenths equal to? 10 tenths is equal to a whole. So 20 tenths is going to be equal to two wholes. So this could be viewed as 2 plus 4 tenths. Or another way to write this, we could just write 4 in the tenths place. So we could just write this as 2.4. 24 tenths, 20 tenths are two holes, and then you have another 4 tenths. Let's do another one. 102 hundredths. So we could rewrite this as 100 hundredths, 100 hundredths plus 2 hundredths. Two hundredths. Now, what is one hundred hundredths? Well, a hundred hundredths is equal to one, is equal to a whole. So a hundred hundredths is just equal to one. So you could view this as one plus two hundredths. And another way to write two hundredths is 0 0.02. So what's one plus 0 0.02? Well, it's just going to be 1.02. And you see that here. You have one and two hundredths. One is the same thing as a hundred hundredths. So this is a hundred hundredths, and you have two hundredths, gives you a hundred and two hundredths. Hundredths. All right, let's do another one. 
what is 32 tenths written as a decimal? So we just have to remind ourselves, 10 tenths is equal to a whole. 20 tenths is equal to two ones. 30 tenths is equal to three ones. So this is going to be equal to three ones and then another two tenths. Three ones and another two tenths. Let's keep going. What is 203 hundredths written as a decimal? We just have to remind ourselves that 200 hundredths is equal to two ones. So you get, this is the same thing as two ones and three hundredths. Two ones, in this case right here, two ones and three hundredths. Let's do, let's do a couple more of these. 1.05 is equal to how many hundredths? Well, one whole, or one, is equal to 100 hundredths. So this is 100 hundredths plus 5 hundredths, or 105 hundredths. All right, let's do another one. How can 2.60 be written in words? So I could write this as 2 and 6 tenths, 2 ones and 6 tenths. I could also think of this as 2 ones and 60 hundredths. Or I could view this as 260 hundredths. So let's see which of these choices. So two ones and six hundredths. No, no, it's two ones and sixty hundredths, not six hundredths. It's six tenths right over here. Six tenths or sixty hundredths, so I won't select that. Two hundred sixty hundredths. Yeah, that's right, because two ones is the same thing as two hundred hundredths. And then we have another sixty hundredths right over there, so that's right. Two hundred sixty tenths. No, 260 tenths, remember 10 tenths is equal to a whole. So 260 tenths would be 26, would be 26 ones. So it's not that choice either. So anyway, I think we've done plenty of examples. Hopefully you have enjoyed that.